Ciao friends! Beth with Thimblehooks. Thanks for stopping by. So my Evie got her hat, her bunny ears hat, to go along with her cat ears hat and her fox hat and all the other things that are on my list. But I finally got around to making this one for her and she was so excited. But then she said, I really wish it was a bucket hat. It's like, oh, I love this little hat with the little bunny ears. But okay, I can make a bunny ears bucket hat. And I said, but it's not going to be blue. I don't want to do any more blue. And she goes, well, do you have purple? I did. I had purple right here. So this was my creation. This is what I made for her this weekend. And of course, I can't show you this in dark. It won't show up on my screen. So I'm going to change out the colors. But I'm going to show you how to make exactly this. She wanted a bucket hat with a little rim with a tiny ruffle. And she is so thrilled. And I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. I hope you're enjoying my video and my channel. If so, please click that button to subscribe. Thanks! And for today's project, I decided I'm still going to make it purple for her, but I'm using a little bit lighter purple. This one that I made right here. This is Plum Perfect and Karen Simply Soft. Very dark. My stitches probably just wouldn't show up very nicely. So I then I went to Lavender Blue, which is just a really fun shade of like a periwinkle and I just love it. And I love Karen Simply Soft. It's kind of shiny. It's really soft and it's really easy to work with, I think. And then for my hat part, I'm going to change the color up. This is a skein that I have. I know this is, I love this yarn, and it's called Parcel and Bow. It's from Hobby Lobby, but I lost the band and it's in a big knot. But I'm going to get the knot out, and this will be the hat part. So I'm going to make two ears this way and the hat out of this. So I figured since I was making another ears hat, I had a couple of questions about right here at these transitions, can they be less noticeable? Well, you know I like to make my things as easy as possible, so my first hat was very simple very simple. Anybody could make it. A beginner could make this. It's such easy stitches. But I had a few questions on how to make the transitions much smoother. So I said, well, okay, I'll do that now. If you want it to be a little bit more time consuming or a little bit more counting, go for it. You just have to do a little bit more counting. So we're going to start out with this guy and I'm going to use my lavender blue. For the ears, I'm using a five millimeter hook. Here is my five millimeter prim. One of my favorites, one of my babies. I like to use this one when I'm designing because it's my favorite hook so I can just crochet away. So we are going to start out very similarly to the original one. It's just a few changes for our reducing. So we're going to make a magic circle. If you're not familiar with their magic circle, I have a really tiny tutorial, only a couple minutes long, that shows you how to do this super fast and easy way. Boom, just like that in our magic circle we want to put six single crochets and you want to mark that first stitch just so much easier when you're working in the round there's one and we want six two three four five and six There we go. Here's the magic part of our magic circle. You just pull that and now it is cinched closed, which is lovely. So now there won't be an opening at the bottom because we're working from the bottom to the top. Because that was round one already. Easy peasy. Now for the next few rows, we're going to do some increases. Hopefully you already know how to do this because you made the other ears or you made anything else that I made that's in the round. I've made so many circles. But our next round, round two, is an increase. So that means we put two single crochets into every stitch. There was number one. And then another single into that same stitch. And there's two. Do that all the way around so we'll increase up to 12. And there's 11 and 12. See, round two is done already. Hooray! Round three is another increase. So our first stitch is a single crochet. We're going to increase from 12 to 18. 
So one single crochet in the first, and then the next one is our increase. So there's two single crochets in that second stitch. And that's our pattern all the way around, our sequence. One single crochet here, and two in the next. All the way around. And my last stitch gets two single crochets. So we're just making ourselves a little circle. That was round three. Round four is another increase. So the first one is a single crochet. I'm going to move my stitch marker. And then the next one is also a single crochet. So the first two single crochet, single crochet. And then the third stitch gets the increase. So it gets two in the same stitch. One, two, one, two. All the way around. And there's my last stitch. Gets two single crochets. That was round four. We increased from 18 to 24. We're going to do that again. Increase up to 30. So there's our first single crochet. And move my stitch marker. And then the first three total will be single crochets. And then our increase of two in the same stitch. One, two, three, and then two in the same stitch. All the way around. And there's my last stitch. Gets two single crochets. Now we have increased up to 30. And round six is another increase round. So you probably figured out how that goes by now. Our first four will be single crochets. There's my first one. There's number two, number three, and number four, and then two in the next stitch. So we're increasing up to 36. One, two, three, four, and then two in the same stitch. That's our sequence all the way around. And my last stitch gets two, and now we've increased up to 36. So we just have ourselves a nice little circle. We're going to do that one more time and increase up to 42. So our first stitch is a single crochet and move our stitch marker. So this round will be a one more. So it's going to be five single crochets before our increase. So there's my first one. There's number two. There's number three. Number four. And number five. And then two in that sixth stitch. And that's your sequence all the way around. Five and an increase. And it's my last stitch. Gets Two. You know, so now we have our nice little, nice little circle. It's the bottom of our ear, bottom of our ear, right here. And that was round seven. We increased up to 42. So the next five rounds are really easy. Round eight through 12, all we do is single crochet all the way around. 42 single crochets for each round for the next five rounds. One, two, three. So I will meet you back at my stitch marker when I have all five of my rounds done. Just have a couple stitches left. Yay! And I'm done with my five rounds. Click. My five rounds, round eight through twelve of forty-two are done. So now we have the bottom right here. So now is when we're going to change it up a little bit from what I originally showed that was super easy. But now we're going to decrease, instead of doing all of my decreases in this round, we are going to decrease for the next six rounds, one stitch at a time. Then you get this nice edge instead of the other edge, like this, that has a more noticeable ripple to it. I think this one still looks great. But if you wanted to make it smoother, here is your option to do so. And I 
prefer when I'm working with these little stitches I like to just skip a stitch instead of working uh, two together so our very first stitch that I just took that marker out we're just going to skip that I'm going to jump over this very first stitch and single crochet in the second one so now we just skipped that stitch so we're reducing from 42 down to 41 by skipping that stitch now the rest of it is single crochets all the way around really easy And here we go. There's 40 and 41. So you can barely tell that we just decreased by one stitch. So now we have 41. Our next one we want to decrease on the other side. If you decrease here the whole time it will start to lean and it will look really weird. It will look wonky. It will not look like the ear that you're hoping for. So we want to decrease on the other side. Right over here. So we're going to skip a stitch over here. If you want to be very specific, right now we are going to single crochet 20. Because we're taking it from 41 down to 40. We will single crochet 20 in a row. And 19 and 20. And then this 21st stitch we're going to skip over and do another 20 back to our stitch marker so we've reduced from 41 down to 40 and you see how we did that we're on the opposite side of our stitch marker so all the way back to our marker and then we are done with this round and 19 and 20 so again barely can tell that we just did any kind of a decrease we just went from 41 down to 40 we're going to do that again and again and again and again so a total of six decreases like that the first the odd numbers so this was the third row we're just going to skip this very first stitch so I'm going to take out my stitch marker skip it jump over to this one and single crochet we're going from 40 to 39 we just reduced one like magic all the way around just single crochets because we already did our reducing right at the very beginning and here we are at the end of row fifth round 15 with another tiny decrease really can't even tell so it's gonna be much more gradual barely show at all now we're going to decrease from 39 down to 38 so we have to skip another one but we have to skip it on the other side remember so we want to do 19 19 single crochets and then a skip and 19 more or approximately right over here if you don't want to do all that counting just make sure it's right over right over in here and that should work for you but I'm going to count out my 19 18 and 19 you see we're halfway around there's our stitch marker skip the stitch jump over it totally skip it and do the other 19 all the way back to the marker 18 and 19 I am back at my marker and that was round 16 we decreased down to 38 one more decrease so in this round, since we skipped over here, we want to skip the very first stitch again. Skip this first stitch, jump over to the second stitch and do our single crochet. And now our reduction is done for this round. So we just simply single crochet all the way around. 35, 36, and 37. So we just decreased from 38 to 37. We have one more round of decrease. Remember I said we were going to do six. That was the fifth one. So since it's an even number, it's num this is number six, we're going to decrease on the opposite side. So we'll just single crochet into our first one. And if you want to keep your numbers spot on, we'll single crochet 18 and then a skip. Otherwise just do approximately right over here where you skipped the other rows. 
17 and 18 single crochets. Now I'm going to skip this 19th stitch. Just jump over here and do our other 18 back to our marker. 16, 17, and 18. There we have our six decreases, one stitch in each row instead of doing one drastic one like I did on the other ears. So it's nice and smooth transition, you can barely tell. Now row 19 is pretty simple, very, very easy. Single crochet all the way around in all 36 stitches. One single crochet each. And 35 and 36. And there we are finished with round 19. Now round 20 we want to do our decreases again. We're going to do six rows of the decrease. Remember the very first row is going to be skipping this first stitch. So we're just going to take out my marker, skip this stitch, and single crochet on the second stitch and replace my marker so I know where my starts and ends are. And now we did our reducing right there by doing that skip. So we just continue and single crochet all the way around. We've just decreased down to 35. 33, 34, and 35. There you, go. you can tell a little bit of decreasing is going on but it's not drastic. So that's good. We just went down to 35. That was round 20. Round 21, we're going to decrease again. Remember, we're going to do six. We already did the one, but we want to decrease on the opposite side so it stays uniform. If you're going to be specifically counting like I do, we want to single crochet 17 and then skip. Otherwise, just make sure it's right over here. There's one, two, three, and there's number 17. There's my first half. I'm going to skip this next stitch. Just jump over it and do the other 17 stitches back to your marker. And there's your reduction. We took out one stitch. We went from 35 down to 34. And my last two stitches in round 21. Oh, good. Yay. So round 21 is done. We've just decreased down to 34. We're going to keep doing those one at a time, opposite each other, until we get down to having 30 stitches. So this one, we have to skip our first stitch. This one. Right here, skip, and then single crochet right in here. You're always alternating sides to keep it uniform. But now I did our decrease, so we're going to just single crochet all the way around back to our stitch marker. I told you this was really easy. 32 and 33. We just reduced from 34 down to 33 and that was the end of round 22. And we wanted to keep going until we reduced down to 30. We're at 33. So the next one is a reduce on this side, opposite side of where we're starting. So our first stitch is a single crochet, replace our stitch marker, and if you're following my math, you probably can figure it out. We're going to do 16, and then our skip. Otherwise, just be approximately over here if you don't wish to do all of that counting. You've got to try to be as accurate as possible of getting across from your stitch marker. And there's my last two stitches. Ray, just reduced down to 32. Got to do that again. So this time we have to skip this first stitch. So remember, we're alternating sides. So we skip this stitch, single crochet, put our stitch marker back, and single crochet all the way around, reducing down to 31. And this is round 24. My last two stitches just reduced down to 31 and that was round 24. So you can see we're starting a little bit of a decrease but it is not drastic it's just a little bit at a time. So we have 31 stitches we want to dip down to 30 so we're going to do the decrease on the opposite side again so there's our first stitch 
If you're counting along with me to be exact, we're going to single crochet 15 and do our skip. 14 and 15 and then just skip over the next stitch, jump over here and do our other 15 so that we can reduce down to 30 stitches. And my last two stitches, yay. Right, that was round 25, we were reduced down to 30. So a little bit at a time, we've taken this from 42 down to 30. See, it's just going a little bit so two rounds, the next two rounds, which are rounds 26 and 27, is just single crochet all the way around for 30 single crochets in each round. So two times around, and I'll meet you back at my marker when my two rounds are done. And there's 28, 29, and 30. So two rounds of one single crochet each. Rounds 26 and 27 are complete. Yay! Now we do our reducing again, just like we did the other time. So skip the single crochet. We're going to reduce down to 29. Single crochet all the way around because we just did our reduce and we just removed a stitch. 7, 28, and 29. There's our reducing. That was round 28. We went down to 29 stitches. We're going to go down to 28 stitches again. So remember, this time we have to go on the opposite side of our starting point or our stitch marker. So you're counting along with me. We're going to single crochet 14 and then do our skip. 12, 13, and 14. We are on the opposite side of our stitch marker, so we're just going to skip over this stitch completely, jump to the next one and do our other 14 for a total of 28 stitches in this round. With a skip right in the middle. And the last couple of stitches, yay! That round is complete also. You know, you can see it's definitely decreasing a little bit. It's getting more noticeable. That was round 29, we went down to 28 stitches. Round 30, the opposite side again, because we did just did a decrease on this side. So this one we have to skip our first stitch, jump over, and single crochet. And now we just single crochet all the way around to reduce down to 27. And here's the end of round 30. We have gone down to 27 stitches. Round 31, we want to skip on the opposite side. So single crochet in our first one here. And my numbers are, probably can figure it out, 13. One, we're going to go 13 and then our skip. And 12 and 13. Skip this next stitch, jump straight over and do the other 13. Back to your marker. 11 and 12 and 13. And that was the end of round 31. Round 32, I'm going to reduce again, but this time it is the first stitch because we did this one last time. So skip over our first stitch and single crochet all the way around and we reduced down to 25. And my last two stitches and that was round 32. Do another decrease. So this time we single crochet into our first stitch and we're going to reduce. We're going to skip a stitch on the opposite side. So my math is 12. 12 stitches and then our skip. 11 and 12. We're going to skip this stitch. Just jump right over it and do the other 12 back to the, to the marker. Number 12, round 33 is complete. Yay! So we just reduced from 25 down to 24. So see, now it's starting to be noticeable. Yay! Right in here. So, for rounds 34 through 38, which is a total of five rounds, now you just do single crochets all the way around and lengthen out this part a little bit. 24 single crochets for each round. 
times five rounds. We're just going to make our ear a little bit longer and I will meet you back at my stitch marker when my five rounds of 24 are done. And 23 and 24. Yay! Click. That is the end of my five rounds of just single crochet all the way around and the end of round 38. So guess what we're going to do again for the next six rounds? You got it! We're going to decrease again one stitch at a time and we always start with skipping our very first stitch right here. Skip that guy and jump over. And there is our reduce for that round already. So the rest is just single crochet all the way around and you'll end up with a total of 23. And 22 and 23. There we go and we're going to reduce again. So remember we need to decrease on the opposite side and my number this time is 11. 1, 2, 3, 9, and 10, and 11. And then we're going to skip this stitch, jump over and do the other 11 back to our marker. And last couple stitches of round 40. Hooray! We're going to reduce again but this time we have to skip our very first stitch. So we're just going to skip the one that had a marker in it and jump over and then single crochet and replace our stitch marker and single crochet all the way around to take us down to 21 stitches. 20, whoops, and 21 and round 41 is complete. Hooray! Now round 42, decrease on the opposite side We're taking it down to 20, so my number on this side of the skip is 10. And 9, and 10. And now we're going to skip this stitch, jump over here and do the other 10. And number 10. We just reduced down to 20, but we want to get our stitch count to be 18. So we have to do that again. This time we're going to skip this first stitch and jump over here single crochet all the way around. That will be a count of 19 single crochets back to the stitch marker. 17, 18, and 19. Yay! That was round 43. We reduced down to 19. We have to do that one more time because we're looking for a number of 18. So our first stitch gets a single crochet and move my stitch marker. I'm going to do nine before we skip. So there's number one, two, and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're just going to jump over this stitch and do the other nine back to our marker. And nine. Hooray! You can see one stitch at a time makes it much more gradual. I like it. It looks great. And this was the end of round 44. Now this is be super easy peasy. 45 through 59 which is 15 rounds. Do 15 rounds of 18 right in here. We're almost done. Do 15 rounds of 18 and I will meet you back here right about, probably about here. Do 15 rounds all the way around. No increases, no decreases, just 18 single crochets for 15 rounds. It goes pretty fast though because we only have 18 in a round anyway. So I'll meet you back here in a couple of minutes. 16, 17, and 18. Yay! Click. My 15 rounds are done. So we are down through, it was 45 to 59, so we are done with round 59. Now we are so close to being done, what we want to do is flatten this guy out. So you flatten it where you want to. I want to put this little edge right here where you can kind of see the skips. I just want to spin that around to the sides. 
just smush it over there a little bit because this will go any direction that you want it to. Now there's not a line down the middle, just our little gradual decreases along the side. And as soon as you have it in the place where you want it, we can fasten off and finish the very tippy top, like this, which is only a couple of stitches and we are golden. But just make sure you have it exactly where you want it. And I'm going to fasten this off. So all I'm going to do is snip and pull this straight through. And now what we want to do is stitch this closed. So we have 18 stitches, which means we're going to make nine stitches. We're going to go through one side and through the other side and go through both sides. But sometimes those last ones can get a little tricky. There's 18 stitches. We want to do nine of them together through both sides. As soon as your ear looks exactly the way you want it to be, pick a stitch and the stitch next to it, we're just going to mark those for now. And we want to do the same on the other because these two are going to be stitched together. So what I want to do is count over. This is number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. This is number nine. And number ten. Those will be stitched together as well. And just leave this tail hanging. So what we're going to do, get our yarn back again, even though we finished off starting in a different spot, depending on where you want your edges to be. I'm going to start here with my orange stitch right here. Fasten on my yarn. Now I'm going to go back into that same stitch that's marked in the orange and through the one that is marked with the yellow and single crochet those two together. Now you go to the next stitch, find the next one over and the next one on the opposite side, which is right there. We're going to single crochet those two together. Here's the one where we just fastened off. He counts also. Go through that stitch and go through the one on the opposite side. So we're going to single crochet through both of those stitches. There's number three. And we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So right here, this is our fourth stitch. And go across to our next unused stitch right here. There's number four, eight, and then you see when you get to these last two, if they weren't marked, they'd be really hard to grab a hold of. So we're just going to slip through because it's easy now. We have them marked. Slip through this one that I have marked in orange and the one that's marked in blue behind it and single crochet through both of those. So we just closed our ear. We can take out all these markers. Don't need those anymore, but they sure do help. And now we just closed all that up. Only two more rows to do. This is rows now because we just closed everything up. The chain one, turn our work, and nine single crochets all the way across. And eight and nine. And one more time. Chain one, turn our work single crochet all the way across. Yay! And there's our very last stitch. We're done with our ear. All we have to do is pull this in and just take a hook or a needle. Take a hook or a needle and grab that long tail and just get it down on the inside. You, know, you just pull it through until it's far enough in and you're happy with it and you can just snip it off because now that tail is buried inside your ear because we closed him up. Isn't that great? So take our scissors and snip and finish this off too. 
Let's pull that through and now make another one that looks just like it, which I already did. Now we can move on to the hat. The hat goes a little faster. I'm going to show you two different ways to make it. One is with this little ruffle that maybe you can see the purple has a little ruffle on it. I like it without the ruffle, but Evie wanted to have a ruffle. So I will show you how to do the ruffle or how to not do the ruffle. But we're going to make the hat now and attach these ears. This part that we just made gives us a nice base for attaching them to the ear seamlessly. It's going to be really nice. And by the way, I don't think I said, one skein will give you two ears plus a lot left over. I'm not sure if I get the whole hat out of that. I used two skeins and I still have some left for this hat. But one skein will get you two ears with a whole bunch left over. So if you want to make the whole hat the same color, get two skeins and I think the Simply Soft is about 370, 374? 315 yards. You see I still have this much left. So let's get started on the hat. You want to do the ears before you do the hat. It's very important to do your ears first. Get your ears done, set them aside, and we'll be using them in a few minutes. We start from the top and work our way down. And again, this one is Parcel and Bow from I Love This Yarn from Hobby Lobby. And remember, I used a five for my ears, five millimeter hook for my ears. I'm moving down to a four millimeter for my hat. It just seems to work better and it won't be as big and as floppy. So we're working from here all the way down. Now it's hard to see in the dark, that's why I'm using this lighter color today. We're going to start out with a magic circle. All right, so in our magic circle, we want to put eight single crochets. I'm going to mark the first stitch. I always do when I'm working in the round especially. But there's number one. We want eight total in our magic circle or our magic ring. Three, four, five, Seven and number eight. And now the magic part of our magic circle, take this little tail and pull and it closes up that gap. Now for this hat I used a double strand for the hat if you wanted it that way. Okay, so there was round one. Round two is an increase just like we did with our ears. We're going to increase from eight up to sixteen. So there's two single crochets in each stitch. There was one and two. There's three and four going the same stitch all the way around. So we're increasing up to 16 stitches. And so there was round two. Right here, my last two stitches have increased up to 16. Round three is another increase. I'm going to do a single crochet in the first stitch and put back my stitch marker and then do an increase right here and that second stitch is two single crochets. There's one and then two in the next. And that's our sequence all the way around. And my last stitches, there's one here and two here. So we just did our round three increase, so we're up to 24 stitches. Now this is the only one that's a little bit different. Next round, I'm going to do the first three, because I want to get up to 30 stitches from my 24. So the first three are single crochet, one, two, and three, and then I'm going to do my increase of two in the same stitch. One two, three, and two. All the way around, it's our sequence. And three, and there is my increase two in that last stitch. Now we've just increased up to 30. And that was round four. So round five, we're gonna do another increase just like it. But I like to stagger my increases on hats so they don't all start to line up and we get kind of a hexagon or an octagon looking thing. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to single crochet two. So what we're doing is splitting. There's one. Move my stitch marker. And two. 
So on this side of our stitch marker I'm going to have two and on this side I'm going to have two. I'm kind of staggering out my increases. So I did two stitches and then do two stitches in, in the same stitch for that third stitch and I'll go one, two, three, and four and then our increase of two in the same stitch and it's one, two, three, four and an increase until you get back to your last two stitches. So here's my increase. There's three and four and then two stitches and then I have two stitches left which completes this other set of four. If you don't want to do it that way then you can just do the four single crochets in a row and an increase, four and an increase. I just like to keep it as round as I possibly can when I'm working with the hat. So that was round five and we just went up to 36 stitches. Now we get to add our ears. Ear number one. Nice and flat we have our nine stitches. So we're going to go through half this ear. One, two, three, four. We'll finish the other one half at this end. So one, two, three, we're going to go through this fourth stitch from the left and through our next stitch in the hat and single crochet. And then we're going to put our stitch marker back. And we do that for the remaining three. Through this one and through that one and single crochet. Through the ear and through the hat and single crochet. And through the ear and through the hat and single crochet. So there we've started attaching our ears right there. We just did these first four stitches. We're going to finish the other ones at the other end. So we did four single crochets. Now I'm going to do nine. You can just toss this tail over. Nine single crochets until we're going to deal with the other ear. So one, two, and nine. And you see I was going over the tail of this purple one too, just so it, it's weaved in a little bit. Now we can take our other ear. Hooray! We finally get to use our ears. We worked all so hard on those ears and now they get to be added to the hat. So again, on top of your work, you want to go through all nine of these stitches. So we're going to go through here, all nine of these single crochets, and then the next unused stitch on your hat through both of those and single crochet. And we're going to do that for all nine of these stitches on our ears. For three, and there's number four, there's number five, number six, Number seven, there's eight, and there's number nine. There you go, now our ears are attached. If you wanted to attach your ears to something that's existing, so you already have a hat and you're going to make the ears and want to have them attached, then you just need to sew them on wherever you think that they look right. So now we're going to do nine more single crochets on our hat part. And I'm going to go around that little end again from the ear, just like that, just a little bit. Get that weaved in a little bit. Seven, eight, and nine. Now we have five stitches left. One, two, three, four, five. That's when we're going to attach the other five stitches that are still left from our original ear and now they're even on both sides of the hat. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm through this one and through here and single crochet. Through the next one on the ear and the next one on the hat and single crochet. Do the 
that same for all of these stitches. There's, I have two left. And here's my last one. Make sure you catch that last part of the ear. And there we go. Yay! That was round six. So now we just have this little circle with two ears attached to it, but we can keep working in the round and finish the rest of the hat. So round seven, we are going to single crochet five and then do our increase. This is one, two, three, four, five, and an increase of two in the same stitch. And that is our sequence all the way around. One, two, three, and five, and my increase of two in that same stitch. My very last stitch gets two. So now we're just continuing making a hat. We have ears here. Just kind of keep them out of the way. But they're already attached and they're going to be very secure. So that was round seven. We just increased up to 42. Now we're going to do another increase. Increase up to 48. So it's six in an increase. If you want to do it my way, you do three on this side and three on this side. So let's start out with a three. One, two, three, and then we'll do our increase. And then we will continue. Whoopsie. I forgot to put my stitch marker back. So we did three stitches, one, two, three, and then an increase of two in the same stitch. So I had five stitches. And now we're going to do our six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Just like the previous row was five, this one is six in between our increases. One. And here's my last increase. Two single crochets in that same stitch. And then I have three left over. I started with three and ended with three just to stagger my increases a little bit. So I keep my hat as round as I possibly can. And I do that for all of the rounds where the number is even. So this was the round that had the six in between my increases. So three on this side, three on this side. We'll do that again for eight, we'll do it again for ten, etc, etc. So that was round number eight. And round number nine is another increase, but this is seven, because the last one was six. So seven single crochets in between our increases. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and then two in the same stitch. And that's how we go all the way around. Six, and seven, and my last one, two stitches because it's an increase. There you go. See, it's starting to look like a something. We've got a nice big circle going on with our ears are already attached. That was round nine. We increased up to 54. We're going to do another increase. Since this one was had seven in between our increases, this one will have eight. I'm going to do the first four on this side of my stitch marker. So again, that's just staggering my increases. There's two, three, and four. And then two in the same stitch for our increase. And then our eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then our increase has two in the same stitch and you do that all the way around until you have four stitches left. And here's my increase, my last increase, there's two in that stitch and now I have four stitches left that completes that section of eight. And again, if you don't want to do that, just do eight in between each of your increases. There's eight in between our increases, so that is round 10. We increased up to 60. We're going to increase to 66, so I bet you can figure it out. We are going to do nine single crochets in between each of our increases. So we're just making a big circle. 
So there's one, two, and nine, and two in the same stitch is an increase. And that's our sequence all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and an increase. And there's number nine, and my last increase. There's two stitches in that last stitch. So we just increased up to 66, and that was row 11. Row 12, we're going to increase up to 72. So in between our increases is 10, and I like to split them. So I'm going to use the first five here. Move my stitch marker. One, two, three, four, and five. And then we'll do our increase of two single crochets in the same stitch. And now we'll do a complete 10 in between each increase. There's nine and 10 and an increase of two. And you do that all the way around until you have your last five stitches left. And there's my last increase. There's two stitches, two single crochets in that same stitch. And now there's my last five that completes this section of 10. One, two, three, four, and five. And remember, I started with five, so there is my sequence of ten in between each of my increases. Right, so that was the end of round twelve. We increased up to seventy-two. Now we're going to increase up again to seventy-eight, round thirteen. And since that one was ten, ten in between our increases, this one is eleven. So 11 single crochets and then two in the same stitch is your sequence all the way around for our increase to 78. Nine and 10 and 11 and an increase. So we just increased up to 78. Let's just take a look. See, we're starting to get a hat. And our ears are connected very nicely and we're just making a circle. So that was round 13. Round 14 we're going to increase up to 84. 12 stitches in between our increases and I like to do the first six on this side and the last six on this side. So we'll do six single crochets and then an increase. There's five and six. And remember, we're going to do the other six on this side. So there's our increase with two in the same stitch, and then 12 in between every increase. And that's our sequence all the way around to the last six stitches. And there's number 12. And there's my increase. And my last six stitches which will finish off my set of 12 that I started with. And five and six. And my ears are all twisted so we can untwist these out. You can see it's starting to look like a hat. We're going to make a nice big circle. That was round 14. And we're going to go up to round 15. One more increase. We're increasing up to 90. That round increased to 84, this one increased to 90. So we're going to do 13 single crochets in between each one of our increases. 12 and 13 single crochets and now two in the next stitch. And that's our sequence all the way around. 13 and an increase. 11 and 12 and 13 and then our last stitch gets an increase with two single crochets so that we increased up to 90 that was round 15 round 16 through 25 which is 10 rounds are all single crochet of 90 all the way around so 10 rounds that we're going to start making the height of our hat 10 rounds of 90 so i will meet you back right about here we're going to do all of this right in here. I'll meet you back here in a few minutes. 
89 and 90. Yay! Click. There is my 10 rounds. Those 16 through 25 are done. It's starting to look like a hat. Now it's starting to look like a hat. We only have a few rows left. Right about here. We only have this much left. Alright, so row 26. We're going to increase up to 96. So it's 14 stitches in between our increases. But like I have been doing since since we started this project, I'm going to split my 14 in half and do the first 7 on this side of my stitch marker. And 7. And an increase of 2. And then 14 in between all of the rest of your increases. And there's my last 7 stitches to complete this little set of 14. 14 in between each increase. That was round 26. Round 27 is an easy one. We're just going to single crochet all the way around. Our 96 stitches. Just single crochets all the way around. All the way back to our marker. And the last two stitches of round 27. Yay! We are so close to being done. This is just great. Okay, round 28 is just a little tiny increase. So it's not following that same pattern you'd think that we're going to be jumping up to the 15, but we're not. We're going to do a single crochet in here and move the stitch marker so we can get a good count. Alright, we're going to increase just very slightly up to 100. So we do 23 single crochets and then may increase. So there's 1, 2, 3, 21, 22, and 23. You see this whole spot right here? This was all single crochets. And now I'm going to do my increase of 2 in the same stitch. It's going to take us up from 96 to 100. So we'll do that 4 times. So 23 and then your increase. 21, 22, 23, and an increase. That was round 28. Barely even noticed that, but now we're up to 100 stitches. And in round 29, we're going to do all 100 stitches, but this time we're going to do the front loop only. Instead of the whole stitch, like we have been doing, we're just going to take this little front loop and do a single crochet. That's what we're going to do for every stitch all the way around. Just in the front loop. Single crochet. Just in the front loop. See that? Not the whole stitch, just the front loop. All 100 stitches. 97, and 98, 99, and 100 front loops only. Yay! That was round 29, 100 front loops only. You see that gives it a little bit of a flare out right here, which is the same thing that I did right here, so that the brim starts to kind of go like this now without having to work at it too hard. It's just going to naturally start to flare out a little bit. Round 30, this is a big increase. So I'm going to do my very first one and move my stitch marker. This is a big increase. We're going from 100 to 120. So we're going to do single crochets of four. There's one, two, three, and four. And then our increase, one, two. All the way around. Four single crochets in between our increases. One, two, three, four, and then two in that next stitch. All the way around. And my last five stitches. One, two, three, four, and an increase. So now I have 120 stitches all the way around. That was a pretty drastic one, but that's what's going to give us our little flare out. That was round 30. Now rounds 31, 32, and 33. The next three rounds are just single crochet 120 all the way around. So do that for three rounds and I will meet you back at 
my stitch marker when I have three rounds all complete. There's my last couple stitches in my third round of 120. Yay! All three are done. So that was round 31, 32, and 33. So now we have a couple of options for our very last row. You can try on your hat. If you want your hat to go down a little bit longer, lower, put in another round. If you would like to have a ruffle, like Evie has, I did three single crochets in every stitch. Or option number three, there now my hair is a mess. Option number three is you can finish this off with a slip stitch. And option four is call it done. I'm going to call this one done because I like it. So all we have to do is slip stitch into our marked stitch and snip, pull that through. And the rest is just weaving in some ends. So again, you have many options for spring and Easter and fun times. So thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Please subscribe to Thimblehooks and stop back soon. Thank you. Bye.